Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Grandma, Grandma, and Grandpa. We had a wonderful night's sleep underneath this awning at the park. I think we're getting kicked out. There's a bunch of people parking their bikes and like waiting for us to leave. So that's what we're doing. We're packing up, getting ready to go. I don't think we're going to be doing a ton of riding today, but we need to get out of here before we get in trouble. They're all reading exactly where we were camping last night. We were totally cramping their morning routine. So I didn't even know where we slept last night until I just looked up on my phone right now. We are in Kakogawa, which is a city nestled between Himeji and Kobe. We slept in the park here, got a wonderful night's sleep, just well needed, well rested, rejuvenated after the exhaustion of the 24 hour McDonald's challenge. Get blue skies here today. Yesterday after the McDonald's challenge, we didn't ride that much. I think we maybe rode 18 Ks to a onsen or a sento. I'm not really sure exactly what the difference is. I think it has to do with the spring water comes from, but this was like a public bath, I think. So maybe the sento. It was 550 yen. We got in there at about like 830 brown colored baths. There was uh, rusty red colored baths. There were green baths. There was outside baths, inside baths, three different saunas with like a salt brick wall, another one with like tea, and then another just like scorching hot sauna. So we hung out there for I think two hours in the bathhouse. And then we went upstairs to a resting room. I passed out and Cody passed out until about 11.45. We gotta go back to the bikes. Are you gonna sleep in here or are you gonna go back to the bikes? All right, if you wanna sleep in here so bad. I gotta go back to the bikes because they're closing. We were woken up by the staff to leave. Then we rode about 1K to this park right here, just looking at Google Maps for a place to sleep. I don't think we're gonna do a bunch of riding today. I think it's gonna be a lot of just errands. We are going to meet up with somebody tomorrow from an older video. If you've been following the journey, you probably have a good idea or you can make an educated guess of who we're meeting up with tomorrow. But we have a spigot here. We're gonna wash some dishes, clean our pots and pans. Park has pigeons. Little pond with a bunch of rocks and a ton of fish. There's like a lot of carp in here. It's turtles, nice trees, a rock bridge. Holy smokes, that dude is huge. Homeboy is big. And he's like, he's eating like a big white thing. He's just hanging out underneath this armpit of a tree in a park, just really happy to be in Japan. And I think there's a Buddhist temple over there. It is so easy and so safe to cycle tour in Japan. 100% highly recommend it for anyone's first cycling adventure out of the country. It's around 11 o'clock, just leaving the park. I think we're gonna go to a secondhand shop and look for a tripod for Cody and definitely get some laundry done. Yesterday after the public bath, we had to dig through our bags and find the least filthy clothes that we had to put on. They don't call them thrift shops, they call them reuse or recycle shops in Japan. So we're gonna pop into here, look for a tripod for Cody. This is so sick. This reminds me of the other one I went to. So overwhelming. The organization is so on point. The variety of vintage Patagonia made in the USA. It's size 12, so I think it's a women's. I wanna say I sold one in similar color for like 112. Um, this vintage cinchilla. Digging the American chair, the American pillow. They got a lot of America here. Japan loves America, and we love Japan. Everything here is so organized by brand. They have camping section, they have vintage section, they have military section, they have outdoor jackets, they have backpacks. Everything has its own little section and it's so organized and so clean. You look by brand, whatever you're looking for, and everything is just there. Perfect example of the culture of cleanliness, organization, use of space, just Japanism. They have a retro game section, which I absolutely adore. The rule of rose is an expensive one in English. Of the video game section, I could literally spend all day in here just looking at stuff. Whole section dedicated to leather shoes. 
place is so massive. I am lost looking for Cody. I found Cody outside. No luck with tripods in that store. Overwhelming amount of stuff, which is pretty cool. I enjoy going into the recycle shops anytime I can. Lunch was just calories. We are gonna go to another recycle shop called Second Street. It is a chain here in Japan. Prices are normally high, but we're looking for tripods. Cody needs a tripod. I could use a better tripod, so we're gonna look for tripods. We are on the right track. Tripods. Oh, these are huge though. Oh, this is massive. We don't want that. These are monopods. Oh, that's a tripod. 14 bucks. And that one doesn't have a shoe. That's only like 700. Hold on. That's definitely even one. smaller. Yeah, oh, yeah. How much is that's only 12 bucks. 12 bucks. But it doesn't right have a shoe. 12 shoe? bucks though. Shoe? Pretty good. Has a shoe? Definitely is more of a thrift feel to it because full of video games This whole stack of ps2 games is only 500 yen. So it's like five bucks actually found some really sick shorts He got a day pack because he's been he's been carting around his panty everywhere And then he found a tripod so he's no longer going to be limited by his shooting capabilities Tripod was a success It is a cheap made in China one, but it's something, something better than nothing. One of the baths I forgot to mention at the onsen was this ceramic barrel bath. It was, it was maybe about three feet in diameter and it was just enough room for one person but it was so comfortable just to sit in, let your legs hang out of the pot and then there was a constant flow of warm water and then the pot was like overflowing. So it's like constantly cycling water in and it was just really really comfortable to just like lay in. It was outside underneath the sky. It has also inspired me to design and make one in the future whenever I get a property. Today seems like day of the thrift. This is like our third recycle or thrift shop we've gone into. And this is the first one that actually looks like it's gonna have decent prices just by the orientation of disorganization and right here 50% off kimono, It'd be like five bucks a pop. These are super sick. Look at all those colors. Look at this. Oh, that's awesome. It's this is like Kimono Central and they have a ton of these shoes. It's actually a real thrift store. Thrift store prices. Look at this shirt. Vietnamese cafe, cafe sura. Only $3.50. I want to get a tank, but they don't have an American flag tank top, and this one doesn't fit me, it's too small. It, yeah, this is sick. Well, I like surf too. Cody found, and it's, it's like a good souvenir. Cody found a, it's five bucks, unfortunately, but it's a good souvenir. Surf of Zipang Goddess. It's got some Japanese there. And then it's got a wave on the back. A surfing monkey and a turtle. That's a surfing That's a cool shirt, that's a cool souvenir. I thrift approved on my end. This is definitely a real thrift store. Here's a, this is a Montclair. Polo, and they only want 750 yen, that's like seven bucks. Prices here are fantastic. Anywhere from $3 to about $7 for a shirt, which is better than most of Japan that we've seen. There's actually a really sick champion jacket track set back here. Okay, this is so sick. Full zip, oh, it's a set, no way. This thing, is, look at the print on the inside. It's got champion on the neck, made in the USA. It's a set. Full zip with the pants. Oh, the matching suit. This thing is so sick. 14 bucks. I'm actually considering this one, it's cherry blossoms, so that would like double as a cool souvenir. Feels like rayon, pretty lightweight. It is 600 yen, but I could get rid of a shirt that I'm wearing right now. So we did both get Hawaiians. Cars will see us now. These are the cleanest shirts that we own. We had one goal today to get our laundry done, which we did not do but we got new Hawaiian Japanese shirts. That got dark quickly. We are camping again in Kakagawa. We rode 10 kilometers today, not even in an effective direction, which is okay, because we're supposed to meet up with somebody tomorrow. We did a ton of thrifting today. It was really cool that we were able to find real thrift stores in Japan that actually had decent prices from like three, three to seven dollars for the normal stuff, and then upwards of like 10 to 15 dollars for some of the jackets. 
kind of similar in the States. Very organized, very clean. We're just happy that we figured out that thrift stores do exist in Japan. One of them actually took credit card. We pretty much spent the whole day going to secondhand shops, thrifting. Wanted to get laundry done, didn't happen, but I have my clean shirt, so that's okay. We are camping in a park, what kind of looks like a haunted forest. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you have an encouraging comment or you want to send us your travel prayers, please do so. I will talk to you guys in the morning. Bye.